So probably this will be your final result after you must have followed this tutorial to the end or something similar to this. So draw with me, let's get started. Welcome to Start drawing the human head. So we should start off by drawing a circle. So I'm using my circle, my shoulder to draw. You understand? So that's just the best way to draw. So so try it out. For the first time you try this, you might really you might really fail at it, but just you have to do it. That's part of learning. So your circle really doesn't have to be perfect. We are still going to get the same results, no matter how rough it is. We are going to get a similar result. So we are drawing a standard model. So really now we have gotten our circle. You can see the circle is really rough. Does not have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect, like I said earlier. So let me just try to make it better. It just has to be good enough. So let me just find half of the circle. I'm going to divide it horizontally and vertically. I don't want to use any measurement, so you guys can really say this is really simple. Like very, very simple. Like like that's why I'm I'm doing it for you guys. I'm teaching you guys. So let me just add half of this circle to the bottom. Now this is for the jaw. So I hope you can see that this is really simple. We are going to see the result that is going to really turn out way. So just try following this tutorial. Make sure you follow it. That's the way. That's why I'm doing it. So you guys will follow it so you can learn, not just watching it. So I, I really put the jaw up than it should be. So I should draw it down. This circumference is really hard to clean. But I hope, I want you guys to really see it too. So that's why I'm, I'm using it. So the judge is already coming out like this. Like this. Yeah, you guys can see, right? So down. What I'll do now, I have to find half of this total measurement that we have from here to here. So I'm going to find half of it. So do that. I will... Use my pencil to roughly measure it. So you guys can really use a you can use a ruler or any measuring to to measure yours meter rule. So I'm just going to leave my own here. What this line is is the is the eyebrows. It's for the eyebrows. So you can see the way it's really covering out. This way it should cover cover out like this. You, if you touch your yours, you're going to feel the bone there. So I'd like join this like somewhat like a skeleton, but actually not like a skeleton. I hope you, you guys have seen the final result in the thumbnail, so you guys will really understand. So this cycle, this part of the cycle is really going to see her part because that's what we call this. We will get the measurement of this of this bone beneath the eyes. So you can really feel it beneath your own eyes. I don't know what that bone is really called, but you guys can feel it. So I'm just really keeping it simple. Like when you're watching this spiral movie, like these are the relief from out the character. Especially Flash, like when you look at the score, if you try to draw it, you see that that's how Flash was created. That's the idea. So the nose sticks out, sticks out. Sticks out from this part. Sticking out from this part. So I'm not doing anything special. So I'm going to find the base of the nose. So you can see the measurement that we have now. I'm going to find what I'm going to find is half of it. You can see the half is really here. That's what I'm going to use. That's where the nose will end. So the base will be right here. So you guys get the idea, right? So you can see the nose. You can see those parts of the nose will be in shadow. So that's really, that's really how it should be. I'm just trying to keep it simple for now. For now, you should try totally leave it simple. You're going to go into the complicated parts soon. So this so the whole part will be in shadow. So we'll find half again between the nose and the jaw. So half of that place is going to be the lips, the lower part of the lips. So, so if you use your 
your me me measuring tool for this measurement you will actually find a better result so i'll try to find half and bring it down a bit for the upper part of the lips so it depends on how big you want your lips to really look in i think in most cases the lower lips is usually bigger so like i said earlier i'll join the standard model Like I said, it's, it's not perfect. Yours don't have to be perfect. So, like, anybody can join. Don't misunderstand joining that is only people that are talented. So, you can only see the the shape of the human head. So, let me just clean up this line a bit and accurate the bits. Like, it mustn't have to be that round. I don't like it like that. But you can leave yours if you're satisfied with it. As I'm trying to add the neck. So this is just a guideline for the neck. So let me just measure this part. So like the neck, what I'm drawing now is you know, totally the way the neck is going to be. Like I said earlier, I'm keeping it simple. So what I do now is for the neck bones, the structure, the way it should be. Like if you usually look at all this character, you see that it's true drawings that they form it draw this um skeleton that they formed this spiral race from even when you're drawing realistic drawing from reference like usually that what ancient artists use for their drawing so they use what they know to draw what they see yeah that's i hope you understand that logic is just as simple as that like like if you can remember michangelo that's how he, he, he usually does on drawing so it's going to be the top and the lower part of the ear. So anyhow, you just draw the ear. Just make sure it does. It starts there and ends to that bottom line. So you guys can really see it. The ear doesn't have to be really perfect. So if if you give it that final touch, it will look better. So start from here. Like this line is really not straight. You guys can see. Let me just score it out a bit. Like I said, this is really simple. Like, you don't have to do this straight because the head is slightly turning away. So you guys are seeing it. So what I'll just do, I'll just clean up this place. So I'll correct it, but I'll explain what I'm correcting. So, so what you just do is just to this is for the head. I hope you, you know not like we have not we are not drawing the hair. This is the normal head without hair. So just correcting some some parts of the drawing like the jaw. Like you really see this in the human face. There's a line that runs down from here. I'm just going to use the hash method to draw, to shade this part. Like you guys get the idea, right? Yeah. So you can see that it's really simple. So what I'm going to do now, let me draw the eye. Like if you want to get the eyes measurement, you divide the whole, this whole place into five. You just line into five, like see the measurement. You bring it back. You just get this place, and then you bring it here. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said earlier. But like we're doing the standard model, like when you're drawing from reference, you're really going to differ. So this is just your fundamental that you should know for drawing your reference, or if you're doing character creation for cartoon or so. So you can see, we're just going to draw it. The eye. So try to make it simple. So I'm not trying to complicate stuff. Like this is a standard model. So you guys really, really can see our, you can see where we are getting. Like we are not, <laughs> we are really not crazy. We are getting somewhere. So like this is the eyeball when it sticks. 
the uh, that black dot in the eyebrow i don't really know what's called like i don't really know what the names of all those things are called but i, li- I really know the way it it is because i studied it they not tell me i don't really care what the names are because they don't know what we artists care about it's the only doctors that do really that, that really matters to. so so let me draw the side view of the character so you guys can see some shadings i hope you guys could see it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to draw the side view like i said earlier you can, okay i know most of you guys may be saying this is wrinkled together what what the hell is this but if you look at if you look at it where well, you can see that it's really anatomically correct but you, you might think it's really difficult to understand but i will explain it later or i will i will review the video to you guys so let me just draw the side view i don't want to make this story quick so i don't want to try anything complicated so what I really need to do here is that I need to measure out this part for you guys. So I guess uh, so it's really going to be correct. So I will do that with my ruler. That's the measurement we're going to do here. Just it's not because we want it to be to explain it to want it to be easier for us. It's just because I want to really make this measurement equal to this one. So you guys should bear with me. So let me just add it like this place now. Let me explain quickly explain this now. This place is the circle we are going to where we are going to draw a circle from from where we're looking at from the side view. So let me measure it out. Also. Let me I, I think I just measure this out while while I up the record so that you guys I, I don't need to waste you guys time. You guys get the idea. Let me just continue the measurement. Like this measurement is not really accurate. So what I'm doing here, I'll join the a circle again but this time this circle is going to be really is really going to look different because let's let's see let's see what it's going to look it's not going to look like the first one we drew here because this is really from side view like you guys know this measurement is really not accurate because i really i really don't want to make this story long this measurement i made here now is really not that accurate so i don't want to make it sure Oh, I also have some way to go. So, so this is back of the air. Like, if you look at the human head, if you look at the square, if you have a picture of the square or anywhere, you can notice that the head is usually bigger. The the back of the head is is usually bigger than the front part of the head. So, just. Pick your paper pencil and draw it. You can see that this thing is really simple. You can see. I hope you know the way I draw these stuff. Only that I didn't explain it. Like, I'll explain it later on. I might even give you guys the video of the, of the drawing. I don't want this drawing to be really so long. So you guys don't really get bored. So, like, you guys may say this is not a circle, but this is just the idea. It's not as simple as this. So, what we are going to do now is that I'm going to draw the... I'm going to draw a straight line here. So that we we'll put our all our measurements. This is the bottom of the 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 jaw. This bottom, the bottom. So the middle of this side view, the middle part, is where the this the jaw is going to enter through. Like if you guys twist the head, you see that this place is actually longer when it comes to this part. So it goes like this, and it it, it goes like this. Sorry, it goes like this and goes up. 
this thing is not hard it, no matter how you do your own you can even do this as a straight line it will still work so and the neck comes out from here the neck is really connected to the jaw yeah the neck is connected to the jaw look at your own so like this is the male head is supposed to have the other map so this is the other map and it ends here so from the back view i'm um, the back side of the head this is what we are going to see that the head comes like this i think i don't need to make this big and bit so let me just zoom this part in so i will see all this this back this head i'll join this side of you no let's do the same measurement did it to this place apply it to this part look I, maybe i should apply I'll show you guys what we did here earlier so like this is the this is the nose this is the jaw this is the brown the eyebrow so this is the total top of the head so the measurement we used here this is So this is the bottom of the nose you guys know this is half of the half of the whole face then this is when you find another half this half of the this part then this is the bottom of the lips it's supposed to be half but you know this all this are not accurate if you make you an accurate you see you only actually look better than mine so this is half now half of this part and this half of this part so we are going to apply that to this one let's quickly do that like this is the top let me try to stop here really well. Quickly. So, hmm, yeah. So half now. Where's the half? Where's the half? I think it's here. So I don't, I don't have to make mine that accurate. Like you guys really get the idea. This is half. So the when we are bringing it out now. You know that the head comes out somehow then the this brown here it's called you can see the way it curves here yeah that's how it's going to curve in the side view so it's going to curve like this it's going to curve in like this then comes it's going to go inside and like you know this half now is for the nose and this is for the bottom of the lips so uh, remember that we used a half this uh, half for the you know, this part for the um for the all part of the upper part of the lips so and it's going to curve like this like that's still the jawline this line here that we are going to review we are still reviewing this part of the eye here now goes like this i don't really draw this part so but like we guys we know it already yeah i believe we know it so what i'm going to do here i'm going to um, let me just point out the nose like this line is going to be really blocking because i'm the nose is really going to come out like really going to come out i would have liked my hair to come back a bit so i'll create that later but let's just continue with the nose the nose is, remember that this is base of the nose yeah like you guys are really not going to know how easy this is until you try it out this is very very easy i'm telling you this stuff is very easy like if it wasn't easy i won't be doing this so yeah let me just I, will, I would like my hair to curve like this like like this way now i would like it to curve like this come down my head i mean so like you guys can actually leave it like that it's, yeah if you check the former part one that you see like it's, there's no much different uh, you guys can see this like you can see I just made a little correction here. You just see on taste whatever you want. So like the neck comes out like this. Like you guys can really see it. There's no big deal here. So like now like to draw the nose. Like we all know the nose really pointing in this direction. So like seriously you guys don't know how easy this is to try it out. Then the lips, then, like nose comes down like this. 
Then the leaves continue from here. I think that's that's too much. That came out too much. Like, you guys should be with me, so that came out too much. I should really put it dry back a bit, or maybe that came out too much. Yeah, I just made a slight change. Like, I must see him online. So you guys get the idea, right? You guys do. So this is just it. And this is now ready. This line comes out. I do still see the line. But you guys cannot see but I can really still see it. Then you know the this part that I indicated here. Yeah, I hope you're seeing it. Yeah, this part really comes out. You can see it pop out from here now. Yeah, you guys see the idea. This is very very easy. So so easy. You guys don't know how simple this is to try it. I'm really really telling you guys. So we are trying. We are drawing the ear. Yeah, like we know that this this is. You know this part is really when it's facing forward. Like this is going to be, I'm understanding your perspective. You're going to know that the this part is really going to go back. Go back. Like the air is going to go back. But you see this measurement, you understand? So just you I, anyhow yeah, you can just do it. Just try to go back like this instead. Measure this one to go back. Hmm, very simple. So I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'm not I'm not trying to do anything complicated. Yeah, so that you guys can just get the idea and see how easy this stuff is. Drawing is really easy. So anyone can draw. I like uh, I really wish you guys can share your own drawing with me. You can share it on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, but really connect with me. See the the head. You can see the way it's looking. So try drawing yours. The other map. Like this is the other map here. So so I'm going to be drawing the eyes now. I just imagine now like maybe one of one or two people will be thinking maybe this was the eye. No, this was not the eye. That's really funny, right? <laughs> so looking at it from here now. The lips. The lips. Like the lips will come down comes down like it's, it's getting less light, so that's it. Then this jaw here. You guys, you guys can see how good it's looking. Like, if you draw your own, it's really going to look as good as this, or even better. I'm telling you, you know, it's not going to look worse because as I didn't use measurement. If you guys use measurement for yours, you're going to see, you're going to have an outstanding result. So, really, really, yours is going to look better. You don't know how easy this is. Just try it out. Get your pencil. I'm not using a, a special pencil, I'm using only one pencil. Like when I'm drawing, I use lots of pencils. Like when you're shading, you're trying to make it realistic. And this is also what we use for realistic drawing. So I guess I should add some hair to this drawing and other stuff. So that you guys can really see some hairs and other stuff to this drawing. Should, uh, maybe I shouldn't. I'll just leave it like this for you guys to try out yours. Let me just complete this. I hope the head is not really that like wow it's really looking different from the camera view let me just bring it down a bit and it's all it's all, it's all to taste you understand like the former one like before it's, it's really it's also good so i'm just bringing it down bringing it down so actually if you leave your own the way it was like this place comes in like this and then yeah you can see that here yeah. comes in and then comes out but it's out and this is the neck i hope the neck is really not that it's really not looking too big mm, it's looking too big so let me just correct that like i don't really want this guy to take the whole day that's why i'm really rushing stores i'm making lots lots of error so 
let me just like you guys get the idea already let me i'll just finish this correction then i will i will show you guys the next step join the neck and other stuff like this neck is really not that big so like this when you see then we understand perspective you understand that this neck is really not so big I you guys you see that side view is really looking big that's because of when you twist the head this is the front view and this is the side view when you twist the head this part is really going to show more than this part but as i didn't use my measurement so like this part is really looking a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be so but you guys should please i'm saying this again bear with me so let me just show you guys all these other parts that i drew here maybe i should do that why I should do that in time, that's all. Stop recording and do that and then show you guys the results. The neck a bit, you guys can see. Neck. <laughs> like, you guys will be like, I'm not reviewing this neck thing to you guys. But, you guys just, I'll do that in another tutorial. You guys should subscribe and watch out for it. I'll do that in another tutorial. When I'm joining the neck and the body, I don't want to keep this short. I, I think this is already really very long. So, let me just quickly round off so that. Like you guys can get I just made some little shadings on the on the part like this part that is fading away from so so you guys can see the way it's really working and this part will not be more shadow. I'm not using hashing and cross hashing the easiest way to shade so like this part of it it goes like this and it should go like this here it should go like this yeah, this part that we're doing. Like, if you watch all these superhero movies, you see that these are the format their character. If, like, Special Flash, you see, like, if you capture him running, these are you see him. And the, also, these are ancient artists draw. Like, um, what's his name again? Michelangelo, yeah. Him that sculpts. Even Leonardo. I think Leonardo is the master in anatomy when it comes to drawing. Leonardo. So, if you guys really want to improve your drawing, you want me, you want me to help you guys improve. So, hit that subscribe button and help me to share this video out to your friends. So, that, yeah, you can really give me the courage to continue. Like, I hope you guys enjoy this. Like, seriously enjoy this so this space is watching out they really inside so shall these shadows and i've also defined this one just a minute let me just finish with this one like you see i'm really doing just some rough marks on it and it's coming out pretty well like the lights here like you guys uh, like i guess you guys already know how lights affect stuff form and everything if you guys don't know just check out my other videos you guys will find all of that or i'll put the link in the description about where i reveal how light works so you guys can really see the way lights is pointing to this one that's the way it's pointing to this one that's why the when you when i'm shading you see that the, some part of this drawing pops out when you just add a shading like button lips you see that this part pops out better like that's how you use that's the excuse you use for all drawing all kinds of drawing you really understand the, um, how lights affect form that's that's actually the key you absolutely draw anything you want that's the key you guys check out the video like i see the realistic drawing like these are all the things that you use to understand your how to draw like i do realistic drawing i still it's still all these stuff that i use all these stuff that you just have to understand it and i i also like i also practice um um cartoon drawing sometimes you know like sometimes when i'm just here i just feel like sketching out some cartoon drawing but mostly what i do is i am realistic drawing i do realistic drawing for clients sometimes but mostly i don't really love drawing for I just like drawing whatever i feel like drawing so you guys really get the idea you can see Can we look at these places now? 
watching, you know. This is coming out, this price is coming out because of this thing we are adding here. So, yeah, like, really one day spot us really well, just add highlights here. So, I hope you guys might have known what it is. If I'm not watching that video, go and check it out. So, I'm really not doing any other thing. Now, if I really have more time, I could have just defined everything and even add her to it. So, if you guys get the idea, if you like this video, give it a like if you do like it. Or if you feel like you don't like anything about this video, let me know in the comments what you don't like about this video. So that maybe in the next video I will change that and make it more satisfying to you guys. So that you guys can really it will be so that you guys can really like it. Yeah, that's the stuff there. So subscribe so that I can really continue this stuff. If you guys hit that subscribe button. So I can continue to show you guys. So yeah, you also get, get the video where I'm because the next video is going to be where I'm drawing the the puzzle and other stuff, the, both the neck. I'll teach you guys how to draw the neck. That's really very very simple. It looks complicated why I drew like this, right? Don't worry, next video I'm going to draw it really well. So hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, share with your friends. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So see you in the next video. Ah, I should have joined this Adam up. Goodbye. So, so you guys can see the finished result. I hope yours is similar to this. If you must have followed this tutorial, which you should, that's the point of watching it. Even though you just done, you won't just improve and you just be watching tutorial for nothing. So really, really follow this tutorial and, I, and yours will be really similar to this. So all I just did was to make some changes here and here, all these parts that are really popping out because I really understand this core in some kind of way so i just shaded all those parts that are bending uh, uh hitting from the light and so on so that's just the the thing i did here it's very simple i hope you have a similar result you can see with all this this is all the simple thing that we just did here and we have gotten these results so i hope to see us maybe you can share with me on facebook or instagram or any other social way in any other social way you can share your your own with me so i can make some corrections on it for you guys so see you in another tutorial thanks for watching <coughs> shit so you guys can see the spiral from that of this drawing wow you can see just a simple spiral you can see the actual drawing yeah you can see it and apart from following the spiral from this we also, we can also um, draw realistically with this type of joint. So let me show you one. Yeah, this is a big one. So this, we still use that same step to draw this, but it was really hard for me to get this accurate joint with this system. But that was what I used for it. Like before I usually draw, like that was what I used for it. Like before I usually draw, draw with um grip method but like i thought that was kind of cheap that was so easy so i did something different and i got this result hope you guys like it goodbye